We are back, and what, what color? Love, love. What, what color would you call it? Was here beige, off white? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll well, anyway, whatever it was, and if you watch the video of me with my first green ribbon, the black scoter. But love, show them the green <laughs> cypress. This actually looks pretty good. Yeah. We're happy with that, aren't we? Yes. All right, awesome. Rye, get down. She's getting all your care. Stop, Rye. The old siding was four inch. This is five. So truthfully, like the birds just don't sit quite as good as what they did. And you're saying, would you call this concave? Yeah, convex. Uh, convex, convex, yeah. And the others was con convex. kind of a concave, had a little roll in it to it. So I, I think it's more of the uh, the five inch versus the four inch in, in my lines that I had. So, but anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. This is a little, love this is. Oops, there's a little, oh, I don't know. I think it was a little peanut. Peanut husk, but this is very much out of, I can't say character for me, because it, it kind of is, because I'm always doing my crown. You weren't here for the other one's love, and every time I did, oh, by the way, this is, we're talking about the 2000 Haverty Grace May Show Rigbird. That's what we're talking about. So every time I did that love, I would hold up the crown glass, and I would tell them how you were got on me about I have too many crown glasses, and I would show which crown glass it was and how we were enjoying. As I poured today, I thought I might talk about Karen is, uh, she doesn't like this about me, but I find myself a connoisseur of crown royal glasses. I can't turn this one upside down, but this says actually crown black on the bottom. So I call this my square glass, a conical shape, I guess we could call that. And it's hard to see on here, but it actually does say crown black. So uh, some of these came in just crown, and then I have, actually I have quite a few in the house say crown black. So I do love crown glasses. Crown glasses. This is a recent one that I picked up. And a gift set, I guess within the last year, and actually has the state of Maryland on it. So I know it's hard to see with the crown black, but Maryland is on the glass, the crown royal glass. Not a crown black glass, the crown royal glass. Oh, that's good. It's tasting especially good this afternoon, but let's talk about the glass. I did count. I still got about five more styles of crown royal glasses. This is not a crown glass, although I use it for my crown. But it is a VPC Lanyards and Ben Shot Glass. It's actually pretty cool. Check it out with the shot shell right in the side. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say we got a, I got about eight, nine, ten different styles. But they get broken occasionally. Not by me. Not by me. But they do get broken, so we do replace them somewhat. Not often, but uh, if I see one here or there, I always try to pick them up. But anyway, I am a crown royal glass connoisseur of sorts of sorts so salute but today look at that get that in there we were enjoying a little bit of american history not canadian blended whiskey but american bourbon kentucky straight bourbon whiskey salute this is the love this is the colonel you gonna salute with me no you're not gonna have okay yeah you can i don't know salute there you go mm. What do you think? I know it's not your favorite. No, it's not my favorite, but... It's not your favorite, dude, no. but... So anyway, I was going to do my, my Crown Royal Black Sloop, but Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Neat. That's what we're doing today. A little bit, again, American history. Enjoy it, I am. All right, so this would be... This is, this is number six. Number six, I think, of the series. 1995 was Black Ducks. And again, if you're if this is the first video you're watching on this, at the May show in Haverty Grace, the first weekend in May, this year, the second and third, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's an honor that the Dequa Museum asked me to be the honorary chairman this year, but sadly, the show's been canceled. So the 39th annual Haverty Grace Dequa Museum May show has been canceled. But this is really how I really got, I can't say got started carving, but just propelled me to want to carve more and more and more. And the easiest way was, I'm going to recap on some of this. And if you watch the first video in 1995, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it again. It got me carving more than just one bird at a time. The rig contest is a six bird rig. You have to have at least two hens. The first year that I entered, black ducks, man, I thought simple and easy, easy and simple carving. The painting will be easy. And um, I got my butt kicked and kind of went, walked away with 
tail between my legs. But that's all old history. 1995 was Black Ducks. 19, and it goes, and I'm rambling. So it goes every other year. Puddle Ducks, Divers. Puddle Ducks, Divers. My 1995 Black Ducks were Chesapeake Cork. Not Wiley at the time, but Chesapeake Cork. Tan, high density cork. The 1996 Buffalo Head were Black Cork. The 1997 Widgeon. They were, we, as we drove around this morning too, Karen, looking for the uh, the Diplonia trees, Cottonwood. The Widgeon rig was Hollow Polonia. 1998, I went back to Black Cork for the Blue Bill. So 1999 was Pintail. It was the first year I used the Wiley Cork. Then the following year, Divers, the year 2000. And this is this is probably, I, if I had to pick one bird, love, that I would think is my favorite bird of all time, this guy right here. For hunting? For just, hunting or no, just something, what you carved? Yeah, just something that I carved. Something was, you know, what was I really happy with? If I could only have one decoy that I carved, okay. I think it would be this decoy. Okay. I don't know why. I mean, it's not really that fancy. It's a George Williams pattern. Thank you, George, very much. This is Wiley. You, you know, I used to always show the keels for whatever reason. I, I didn't sign the keels this year. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know why. I'll show you that. This year being well, this the year, year the, the year two. As far as the Havity Grace rig bird, uh -huh. I marked each one what the you know what year it was. It was I said Havity Grace decoy museum rig bird whatever whatever the contest i don't know why i didn't do that so i'm really happy happy with the way they turned out and again like if i only, could only have one bird this would be the bird i've had some people get on me a little bit that you know cans don't have, really have vermiculation but just putting straight up white mm -hmm. it's dirty right now mm -hmm. but just putting straight up white I didn't, I didn't like it smooth this was this was combed so i just combed all my divers now anything that's white i comb the sides just gives a little little texture adds a little dimension to it i can remember so the birds were done and my tails were kind of really kind of squared off more. And if you can kind of take a look, here's the old the old old paint or the original paint up in here. And here's where I before the show, before the contest, I, I took the Fordham, came in here and kind of ate that out. And I went back and painted, but I, I can definitely see the little difference in the paint. Either you know the the sealer and or the amount of paint that I put on the tail, but been gunned over, a little little shot damage. Just, just a cool, cool bird. And this is George's pattern, George Williams. And I thank George, but and, and, in hindsight, he was right. The first thing he told me, he said, that's not right. This looks like a puddle duck. That's not the way canvas backs look. But it's the way that, this is my, my first canvas backs that I carved, my first canvas back rig. And um, still, this, is, this isn't a bad bird either. I don't think. What do you think, love? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Wilmington, Delaware, Wiley Cork. They're hot, they're solid. Um, this is painted all in golden acrylic, heavy body matte, and um, I'm combing still to this day, man. I comb the heavy body matte. I say it often is about the consistency of peanut butter. So you getting it all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get all the vermiculation there. It's it's a very heavy heavy thick. It's not heavy. It's very thick. And I, you know what? From watching YouTube and just listening to one of your commercials, I, that's a story for another time. I was going to talk about moist. The word I learned. That I can't. I was thinking that when I said heavy, and then I corrected myself. I was thinking like all I've been hearing about moist recently. I, I didn't realize it was that bad of a word. It's huh? not bad. It's just it, well, tri it triggers the the grossness in some people. Well, I just I just never really the had that. Factor. But when I said heavy, the paint is not heavy physically. It's heavy more in the medium. Yes, Gam. <laughs> Did we take her potatoes? Is what she just said. <laughs> How much growth did those things have come out, Karen? Yeah, they were ready to sprout more potatoes. Five or six inches growing out of those things for audio. I'll be right back. <laughs> when I said heavy, I don't mean that the, the paint is physically heavy. The medium that the pigment is made into is considered to be heavy, the heavy body mats. So I'm finishing off with some glass eyes. These are cedar heads and a weighted, internally weighted lead keel. So this is two of. Two of the 19, no, not 19, the 2000 Happy Grace May Show rig birds. So they floated well. I didn't get a ribbon for them, as I recall, because I made them, what did I make them love? I made them puddle duck heads. And again, I, I've always, remember the canvas back I always show you, it looks like it's, it's angry and wants to like mm -hmm. bite your finger off. I just always wanted to have like, have my birds be uh, more cartoonish and or have their own. You could say that I think Jeff Coates carved that. That's really more of my, I'm not really looking to make the make the real deal, but that's all I got, love. Okay. 
So now I'm thinking the year 2001 would have went back to puddle, uh, yeah, puddle ducks. I don't know. I'm really going to have to think hard to find out what the puddle duck is. It, it could have it could have possibly been green winged teal. I don't know. Or it could have been widgeon. No, we already we did widgeon in uh, in '96. I, I think it may be maybe green winged teal. I'm going to have to really search on that. So my little series here it may end end at number six. And or I guess I could always reach out to George and see what his memory is. I'm, I'm going to say if I had to guess right now, 2001 back to puddle ducks, and I will say it was green winged teal. I think so. That's what I'm going to say. Thoughts, comments, questions, love. What was what was this year supposed to be? Well, they've changed the rules now, and Matt Nisley was kind enough to reach out to me, and they do, um, much like they do the normal contest where you just, they they have puddle ducks, and they'll have, they judge all the mallards together, all the widget together, all the teal, all the wood ducks, on and on and on. Wood ducks, maybe it was wood ducks. Wood ducks. I think it was teal. I think 2001 was teal. I'm going to stick with that. But anyway, what they've done now is the rig contest is the same way where I can make a rig of teal, and my rig of teal is going to compete against anybody else's rig of teal. And then for the puddle duck rigs, they're going to have all the first place rigs out there. You all right, love? Yeah. Your eyes look like you're tearing up. No, I just yeah. yawned. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm serious. I thought you were like, some, I said something emotional to you. Oh, those poor puddle girls. Oh, that's what I was no, talking about. I yawned. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love history. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to smack you. No, I never beat Karen. Only when she asked me to. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, but. But back to the topic. So now they'll uh, they judge all the rigs together. So they put all the puddle ducks after they get number one first place puddle duck rigs. Oh, look at Ross lad. She's just resting. Look, now she's not resting. What are you doing, little girl? She was just chilling. She's still tired from swimming this morning. <laughs> she's a good looking black girl. We love her when she's tired. Yeah, that's when she's the best. Old Duker tried to mess her up on that one. He loves a boat ride. He is not a water dog. And then he would do all the diver rigs and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Just again, just like they would do singles. They do all the rigs. So it just makes more for uh, more, more rig, <laughs> more birds in the water. And I guess at the same time too, truthfully, it's the 39th annual show this year. They've kind of went through the gambit of, of birds. I, I can't remember when they stopped or when they started this. I, I would guess a good four or five years ago. So you you want it again, love? Sorry. Love, I am thinking about the tacos, the baby. Mm. No, not baby, mini tacos that we're going to make tonight. Yeah, with the dipping sauce. They were going to be awesome. I really wanted to do a video on that. And love, why have we not tried this before? Uh, oh, my goodness. Tiny tacos. Check this out right here. Mm. Oh, so this is what a little tiny taco looks like. We're gonna come step over to the camp chef woodwind Wi-Fi connect with the sidekick. We ready to do this? Mm -hmm. Watch out! Watch out! Woo! Bam! 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 We need one more. Bam! That is mm. awesome. Is it not? Right Break down here. We had to do a test, and that's what the test looks like. And. What kind of awesome sauce did you make? It is a wow. cilantro, avocado, lime juice, garlic. Oh. Our house in Bam. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> it doesn't take long, about two minutes. These bad boys are done. Mm. Thinking of you, we are. Ha! Ah! I just don't really have it in me, do I? No, I, the, the drink, I've only, first drink, I've had that much and I'm yawning my head off. Mm. I'm not really feeling it yet. Mm. I mean, just, just a, just a little bit, maybe. Mm. Hold on. All right, that was my technical difficulty. Thank you, love, for coming in and backing me up on that. That is, <laughs> that is it for the two, the year 2000 rig birds, the Have Degree Decoy May Show. Check them out, decoymuseum.com. The link is right here. No, it's not a link. It just says decoymuseum.com. <laughs> Looking up here, love, I, I don't know again. So I don't know. 2001 is teal. I don't know if you want to swing back in the teal. I, I do like my green blade teal. I do. I like making them. I like carving them. I like painting them. I like gunning over them, too. I think I really want to visit back over this way, love. Oh, man, the Harlequin would be a good one to visit. That would be a good one. That's 2009. That would be a good one to visit. Actually, maybe the redhead, because they're the redhead, the blue winged teal, and the buffalo head. A couple of buffalo head over there are very old, so that that possibly could be something we're going to use. But 
something we're going to get into and talk about. But I, I think in the big old black. Which one broke its neck when it fell the other day? Uh, it was the high head can. Oh, I, you fixed it already? No, he's oh. no, he's out. I got I still got to glue it back together. It was my bad. It fell on. Pop, it was a high head too. It's nice. Popped it right off. All right, enough of this. I'm rambling. If you like cooking, check out some of our cooking videos. I'm really trying to ramp up my YouTube cooking videos. Quick little anecdotal story. I did the AP, the new seasoning that may or may not be coming out. I did the AP Subtle Heat video. The burger video posted it up yesterday, I'll say at 10 o'clock in the morning. I did the, the decoy trailer walkthrough in the afternoon. I posted it up at 7 o'clock last night. This morning, burger video's got 60 views, and the trailer video's got like 400 views. So I, I, guess, I guess just more people are... Are interested in decoys. Like I walked in the food line and Nate even said, hey man, after he said he wanted my, my crown mask, he said that, uh, I don't know about you all, where you're from, but we have to, when we're out in public and stores and establishments, we need to wear face masks. But Nate did say, he's like, hey man, I enjoyed your, I enjoyed the, the decoy video. So he watched it last night or this morning too. So I appreciate you following along with us. Thank you very much. I think Karen does too a little bit, don't you? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Karen. If you could give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, share this video if you'd like. And also jump on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Pit Boss Waterfowl. We do, we show everything. We probably show too much on there. I show too much on there, right? Love? <laughs> do you think? Well, if people don't want to watch it, they don't have to, right? No, no, no. But I mean, generally, you think I just show too much. Tell too much? Yeah. 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 Just. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. All right. Rise at my feet. I'm ending this now. Because I'm just going to keep talking and rambling. I really am. Mini tacos tonight. Get on Instagram. And you can check out and see what the mini tacos look like. I really want to do a video on it. But I'm, Stills. Yeah, still, yeah. Just to go to Facebook or Instagram and check out the mini tacos. It's going to be awesomeness. Love, thank you very much for jumping in and running the camera for me. I do appreciate it. All right, as always, my Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Salute to the Colonel. And thinking of you, we are. Woo!